So, uh, what's going on? My name's Ryan, Ryan Wagner. Uh, I go by the dancing moniker B-Boy Napalm. Wagner's Martial Arts and Fitness here in Ben Salem, Pennsylvania. Ryan Wagner's Martial Arts and Fitness is one of the nation's top-rated martial arts programs located in Ben Salem, right outside of Northeast Philadelphia. Ryan Wagner, the man behind this establishment, obviously, holds a 5th degree black belt in Tangsudo and 4th degree black belt in Simu Hapido. Uh, martial arts I've been doing for 22 years now. Started when I was seven years old, really, really young. I started teaching when I was 13 years old. So I also started teaching at a really young age after I got my black belt. And uh, then I got into like the managerial aspects of it around the age of 18. You know, when I graduated from high school, I knew what I wanted to do with my life was to, to be a part of the martial arts. So that's what I went into full time. A little fun fact, he's also one of the world's best b-boys in the urban art form many know as breakdancing. He's gotten a lot of recognition as of late. So that's Philadelphia Inquirer. That's a pretty big deal. That's pretty cool. From being wild card on the infamous Red Bull BC1 North America Championships. And he definitely has the tools to bring it. Napalm is a blow up technician. Just like there's forward technicians, this guy's a blow up technician. Which led him to being Don't featured on ABC guy. Nightline for his dual persona. By day, he's a well mannered karate instructor and business owner in suburban Philadelphia. But by night, he transforms into a trash talker who spins on his head, shoulders, and well, just about everything else. To receiving Philadelphia Hip Hop Awards for being B-Boy of the Year. Really the big thing there was, and it was cool and I appreciate it, but Red Bull has some amazing PR and they, they created some awesome opportunities for people to know a little more of what I do, but I've been doing this stuff for for 10 plus years traveling around the world winning dance events and um, you know I, I've been influencing people in the martial arts for 17 years so you know regardless of that stuff I'm just grinding every day doing what I do you just got to see this guy live in short he a beast just watch him train <laughs> It's no wonder how he's become a local hero with such a successful martial arts school. And one thing that I've become in my life that I see a lot of my students, a lot of my friends see, they look at me as a leader. So if I'm a pretty good leader and I can say, what makes me a good leader? Honestly, not subjectively like I'm better than anybody, but honestly, what has made me a good leader? Well, then if I can quantify that and break it down, why wouldn't I want to do that for my students to make them into leaders? So our mission statement at my school is to develop our students into leaders using martial arts, our Tong Sudo and our Sin Muhakido, as a vehicle to get them there. To turn them into confident, amazing, good-hearted, great people. How does one man achieve as much as he has? From being a multiple degree black belt in two disciplines and a successful businessman as well as a world-renowned b-boy? You know, I don't think I'm that special. I mean, yes, maybe to somebody I am special and I appreciate that. 
but anybody can do what I've done. I just chose to work harder than most people around me. There were so many Fridays and Saturdays where I sat in my gym alone throwing power combos because I wanted to be one of the best powerheads in the world in b-boy. And not just that, I mean just, just training my dancing in general. And there's been plenty of times where, you know, I sat at home when everybody was out partying and I read a book that I knew was going to make me better at understanding the business. And there's been times where I wanted to be a first place champion at a tournament. And when everybody else was dancing and all my boys are at practice, I'm at practice too, but I don't get to dance with them. I'm practicing my sword form 400 times on the side. So to anyone that's coming up, martial arts, within any sort of business, within the breaking community, all you gotta do is, is practice. How bad do you want it? You know, if you love breaking and you love music, then work hard at it. And push yourself to, to work at all of the things that you're uncomfortable with. Everything that you're uncomfortable with is something that's gonna make you grow at such a higher rate than only sticking to the things within your box. Get yourself out of your box. So when you're training, when you're dealing with people, constantly take yourself, get out of your comfort zone, and that's gonna make you great. Work harder than everybody else. Do everything you don't wanna do, and really enjoy the things that you do. We always say in martial arts, you know, when you're learning from your instructors and your masters, that's your way of getting to stand on the shoulders of giants. So then you can see a little further than them. And then you train your students right and they stand on your shoulders and they can see a little further than you. And everybody's always growing. Hey,